Two weeks ago, Fitz News exclusively reported that the Rockstar Cheer sex abuse scandal would expand beyond the borders of South Carolina, and today it did just that. A new federal lawsuit filed in Tennessee, in Memphis, Tennessee, alleges conduct on the part of many of the same defendants that were named in the South Carolina lawsuit, but this conduct now extends to an entirely new group of defendants, particularly Premier Athletics, a gym based in Knoxville, Tennessee, where a defendant by the name of Dominic Frizzell is accused of making multiple solicitations to underage boys, sending them nude pictures, videos of him masturbating allegedly, and again, soliciting sex from these underage boys. Now, those allegations are graphic, but the heart of this lawsuit, again, is this alleged conspiracy on the part of key players within the cheerleading in industry to keep these allegations under wraps. Some damning details from this lawsuit. According to the complaint, the mother of the underage child was not informed that a complaint had been made for months, even though it had been submitted to local law enforcement and even though it had been submitted to the USASF, which again is one of these governing bodies that has failed miserably by all accounts in per promoting and protecting the safety of child athletes. That's one of the key developments in this case. We also learned, according to the complaint, that the gym involved is owned directly by Varsity, which is the Tennessee-based company sold for $2.8 million five years ago to Bain Capital. Again, the dominant force in this industry, the overseer of these alleged oversight agencies, and again, the party that many believe is most responsible for this scandal. Now, we reached out to Jeff Webb, who's the former founder of Varsity, for comment in this case, because Webb reached out to us recently with a statement. And in that statement, one of his excuses, if you will, one of his rationales for debunking the charges was that he had no ownership of any of the gyms where this conduct was alleged to have occurred. Well, folks, not anymore. Premier Athletics in Knoxville, Tennessee, owned by the Varsity Network. So in addition to now being on the hook for the alleged failed oversight of these agencies, which were supposed to protect children from this sexual predation, now Jeff Webb and Varsity on the hook for direct ownership of a gym where this abuse allegedly occurred. For the latest on all of this, please check out fitznews.com. Also, be sure, be sure to listen to the latest edition of Cheer Incorporated, our podcast, which goes into detail on the history of this industry and the rise of varsity as its dominant force. Stay tuned for much more on this on Fitz News and Cheering.